All right, so finally, let's create the methods that count the passengers with assigned seats and passengers who are on the waiting list. So I'm going to create a public method and it will return an integer because it will return the count of all the passengers. And the first one will be called number of seated passengers. And no argument is needed here because we will simply access the passengers list from the reservations form and we will use the where method to filter it. So again, we will use a return and we will return from the list in the reservations form. So again, frm reservations dot passengers and we'll use the where clause. And at the end, we will also do the dot count because we will return the count of all the passengers that meet the condition in the where clause. So how do we count the passengers that have seed assigned to them? Well, if a passenger has an assigned seed, that means that the passenger is not on a waiting list. So we can simply count all the passengers who have the is on waiting list property set to false. So again, in the Lambda expression, I'll use P for passenger goes into P dot is on waiting list. And we check if it equals to false or we'll select all the passengers that have the is on waiting list set to false. We count them and assign the count to the return statement, which returns the integer. So if it returns, for example, 40, that means the plane is full because the capacity of the plane is 40 passengers. And this is how we will know if the plane is full or not. And to count the passengers who are on the waiting list, we use exactly the same way of doing that except these passengers will of course have the is on waiting list property set to true. So I'm going to copy everything and I'm going to paste it here. And this is going to be the number of, I'll just run and rename it to number of waiting passengers. And again, we access the list. We access the property is on waiting list, but this time we check or select all the ones that have it set to true. These are the passengers on waiting list and we return the overall count. All right, so this is our complete passenger class with all the properties and methods that we will need for this project. So next, let's go to the lookups form.